Yo, it's L. As you might have guessed, I'm a bit of a Spider-Man fan. Unfortunately, most of the stuff from my childhood I don't have anymore. The only thing that I have Spider-Man related is the Spider-Man sitting here on the PlayStation 4. But this is all the stuff that I currently have now. Also, if you're not subscribed, now would be a great time. It'll really help me grow this channel. Growing up, I watched all the Spider-Man series, even the 60s animated series that most people know from the memes. I played all the games I could get my hands on. Obviously, I watched all the movies. That's why I love Spider-Man No Way Home. We got three generations of Spider-Man. Unfortunately, we didn't get Japanese or Italian Spider-Man in there, but it is what it is. Now, last year, I was lucky enough to find this, the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 Pro. And today, I'm excited because we're going to be opening up the Spider-Man PlayStation 5. So here's the front of the box, looking great, looking good. Peter and Miles, Peter with a symbiote on his arm. Got the Venom logo on the side. Spider-Man Chew Bear on the table, just overseeing this. Got the contents. But this, the money shot. We got Peter, we got Miles, and we got Venom just fighting, looking great, looking good. Honestly, I'm more than hyped for this game. All right, so let's get into it. Box looks great. Actually, the corners are a bit dinged up, but it's mostly my fault. Actually, honestly, I hope that the console is in here, but if there's a symbiote in here, I don't think I'd complain. I don't know, I think I'd, I think I would do good as a Venom. Okay. Apparently this is a lot harder than I thought. Sony, you guys are killing me. <laughs> okay. First off, we got this. I'm assuming... Yeah, it's the controller. Ooh. That controller looks nice. You got the logo. You can tell, yeah, this it looks like the symbiote is uh, taking over. Got the power cord. Now I wonder. Ah, that must be for the controller. Great, perfect. I'm wondering if it has to come with an HDMI cable, right? Usually, I just always when I buy a console or whatever, I always just switch it out. Because they always suck. If anybody watching is a musician and you buy an instrument that comes with a patch cord, you know what I mean. Take it, uh, that's probably the stand right there. Not going to use it. There we go. The terrible HDMI cable. Ugh. Alright. So you got that. Let's take the stand out. Yeah, it's a stand. Not really that exciting. Don't know what to say. There we go. All right. Now. Whew. So real quick, when I got the Spider-Man PS4, I already had a PlayStation 4. Like, I don't have a PlayStation 5. Whew. It's gonna be nice. Definitely gotta put the logo on the box too, otherwise, you, you know, this could be a Microsoft console for all I know. Alright, alright. This is looking nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Here's a better shot of the front of the console. Better shot of the back. 
I like too on the back. We've got the other logo. I really like this. Um, Venom is actually one of my favorite Marvel villains. Obviously, because I like Spider-Man. I guess I have to like Venom as well. But uh, I'm excited that he's in the game. Uh, not Again, not having a PlayStation 5 before. I see there's two different USB things on the front. I take it that's a power, that's eject. There's a disc down there. Here's the front of the console. What do we got at the back? Uh, two more USBs on the back. I think those are USB 3.0. The HDMI, of course. The LAN, that's great. And the back of the console. Huh, looks like the power cord, power cable, is the same as, uh, I think like the PS2s. And the PS, uh, yeah, the, the later version PS3s, the Slims, the PS4. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't even know how to set up the stand. I'm not going to put the stand on it, though. I like this. Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that. Here's a better shot of the front of the console. I really love the design of the Venom symbiote taking over. I think that looks great. Oh yeah, looks good. Here's a better look of the back of the console. Oh yeah, Venom Symbiote, this is amazing. Oh yeah, that's good. It looks sleek. Um, I, I take it it looks just like a normal PlayStation 5, just with the paint. I don't think the actual shape or design is any different. I wonder where you swap the hard drives out. I'll worry about that later. Oh, it looks nice. Oh man, I can't wait to get this all plugged in and everything. Controller too. Let's move this out of the way. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing with this stand. So you know what? Let's not even worry about that. Spider-Man, Spider-Man with a Spider-Man PlayStation 5. So, I wanted to compare the controllers between the PS5 and the PS4 version. Now, I get they added white to the costume, so they added it to the controller, but where's the blue? And how do you know this is a Spider-Man controller? Where's the logo? You put it on the console, why can't you put it on the controller? I mean... You did it here. There's even a logo on the back of the PS5, so I guess they make up for it. But this, instantly, you can tell. It's like a Venom controller. It's a Spider-Man controller. You know. This looks great. Looks better than this, I'll tell you that much. Also, let me guess, Sony. Because that lights up blue, you didn't put blue on it? Come on. Now, it is a bit hard to compare the consoles because... For this game, Venom wasn't in it, but I really like this, the suit sort of taking over the symbiote. I do like the little logo on the back. It really does feel like, okay, this is like Venom. And Spider-Man being taken over. This is pretty cool too. It's got nothing really special on the back. Some X's and circles and triangles. You know, the PlayStation buttons. You even got the logo. It's pretty simple. It works. This one looks great too.
Thank you guys very much for watching. If you could like, comment, and or subscribe, it'll really help the channel out. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.